In this video, I'll show you how to use the built-in event debugger in the BotPress Cloud Studio. To use the event debugger, you'll need to have a bot you can test. You can test a complete bot once you've finished building it, but it's good practice to test your bot incrementally so you can more quickly diagnose any potential errors in the way your bot's conversation was designed. To open the event debugger, hover near the bottom of the studio. You can pin this window open by clicking on this pin icon to pin it open. In this window, you'll see the event debugger, which provides a summary of what's happened in your bot's conversation up to the current point. You'll also see the logs option, which provides detailed information about what's happened at each step of your bot's conversation. This is great for looking into specific actions and steps. The final option is JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation, which gives you information on how your bot has been receiving and storing information throughout the conversation. For this video, though, we'll focus on how you can use the Event Debugger tab. As you send messages in the emulator to test your bot, the event debugger updates automatically. Let's test it out. So in this example, I'm just asking my user to pick between soup and salad, but let's input burrito and see what happens. So if I prompt my bot and I type in burrito, we see that this attempt didn't work. In the emulator, what we're seeing is that our bot is asking the question again, but I want to know more about why this is happening. In the event debugger, I'm going to click on the Capture Information Order step to understand what's happening. And right away, we see more information about this Capture Information step. We see that our bot will retry this a maximum of two times, and that we've got one try left. And we see that if we fail to answer the question, the error flow will be triggered. So let's see what happens if we fail that final attempt. I'm going to ask for a burrito again, and fail this final attempt. And we see that the capture variable step has failed. But again, I want to know more information about why. So if we go back to the event debugger, we can see that the capture failed because no valid answer was provided by our user. From here, we can also see that the variable order wasn't set to anything because our user didn't answer the prompt correctly. And finally, in the small tab at the bottom over here, we can see detailed information about what our bot has been doing at each step. So for example, we see that the extraction failed after two attempts and that the maximum number of retries has been reached. The event debugger is a powerful tool that can help you design more impactful, productive conversations. This video only scratched the surface of what you can do with this tool, and I encourage you to keep an eye on it as you work with BotPress. Happy bot building!